There's a recent initiative we've started with local hunter associations in the villages nearby where I work. And with them, we have uh, discussed why they hunt and where they hunt. And as, even though they know it's not legal to hunt some of these animals in certain places, when you really you know, scratch the surface, they say, well, yeah, we do it. Well, what would it take to, for you not to do that? Uh, and they said, well, you know, really, ultimately, what we want is, is income. And certain times of the year is when we need income. Now, hunting is dangerous, and it's not pleasant. And I've got to go out there and stay overnight, and the spirits could get me, and the animals could get me, and there's scorpions, and so on and so forth. So if I had something that allowed me to have that income, as well as a certain amount of protein, then I would, um, I'd be much more happy to do that. Uh, but then you say, well, what about the prestige? I mean, you're a hunter. That's, that's, a, that's a big deal in your society. Well, yes, it is. Was there anything that could replace that? And they'll say, well, actually, you know what? As a hunter, your, your identity is not so much caught up in, in the act of killing the animal, but it is in being the steward for this area and in managing the relationships between the people, our ancestors, the spirits, and the genies. And so I say, well, okay, then how about you become the protector of this area and you return and you know you do you do your, your your rituals but instead of killing animals perhaps you we find another type of another, another form of, of, of income for you or of of, of of something else prestigious I mean there are ways to crack this nut uh, it takes a lot of in-depth uh, knowledge uh, no one-size-fits-all solutions are extremely site-specific